Welcome back. If you are just joining us, this is Daily Politics on Trust TV. Do well to follow the conversation across our social platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and watch us live on YouTube. We still have Baba and Emmanuel with us in the studio. Um, gentlemen, the bimodal thing. Yeah, we had a verdict in Ocean State today. I will start with you. They cancel the, the, the election of um, Governor Adeleke, and at the same time, the tribunal said um, governor, former Governor Oyotela is actually the person who won. And the election was actually done using the Dubai model. So Nigerians are asking, where is actually the role of the Dubai model that allows overbutting when we were meant to agree that it was to solve that problem. Yeah, um, I'm very happy we are talking about this now. Uh, the bimodal, the virus now is what I call in a test instance, borrowing from IT. So it's in a test scenario. The ocean election now presents to us or throws off issues to be addressed by the Independent National Electoral Commission with regards to the technology they want to deploy they have been consistent and insistent that the virus will work. Now, with this verdict by the tribunal, cancelling or reviewing or declaring void elections across 10 local governments, which is substantial as far as I'm concerned, of mm. course, subject to the declared decision of the Court of Appeal. You know, there's one more layer for us to very validate this conversation, but it's obvious there's an issue. Yeah. And to my mind, this gives an opportunity to INEC and to the, all the political actors within the political value chain to evaluate this situation with a view to ensuring that we are not going to have this issue in the upcoming elections. Because if you have in Ocean alone, 10 local governments' elections being invalidated with a view to not properly going, to, going through the bimodal, yes. then it can give you a, a, a tip of the iceberg of what will happen across the seven, over 700 local governments in Nigeria when it comes to the presidential elections, gubernatorial and other elections. So I will, I, will, I will say this should be a learning point for all stakeholders to look at, especially INEP, because now this has thrown integrity question to the technology deployed by INEP. Don't forget, mm -hmm. the presidential candidate of all Progressive Congress also yeah. has at one point or the other a couple of months ago questioned its the integrity, capacity yeah. and its integrity. Even, even President Buhari, so, the so, APC National so, Chairman, so, so this is your area. <laughs> of course, you, you are an expert in election <laughs> matters yeah. and democracy. Yeah. What is your take on what happened in, in Osho? The problem for me is not the bivers. The oh. bivers is not the problem. Uh -huh. The bivers is a very good technological device that we bring credibility, electoral integrity, electoral accountability to our process. The problem is this. Most of our politicians are still playing the old ways. You know, so the process has been reformed. The laws have been reformed. The technology has been deployed. But our politicians are still playing the same way. There are some places reports were had. In Ocean State, I was actually in Ocean State for the election, Aha. where some, some, some polling units where the political machineries or some of these political parties insisted that the beavers should not be used. But results came out from those same polling units. And mind you, with beavers, they are not saying there can't be overvoting, but they're saying that beavers will be able to check overvoting, which is what has happened in the court today. The beavers only says that you must do biometric accreditation with the beavers. And at the end of the polls, if it is only 300 persons that were accredited in the polling unit, your results cannot be more than 300. Mm -hmm. In a situation where Biver Beavers accredited only 200 persons, and you pull out the result of 800 persons, there is overvoting. But in some situations, there is collusion in some situations between some party agents in a particular polling unit yeah. and sometimes with some INEC corrupt coalition officers. When that happens, they tend to overlook the yeah. process and let those results come true. So this is, this is a call, a wake-up call to our political leaders to tell them that the game has... This is, this is really, really good. Though. We, we is, have, we have is... some, some data there. Mm -hmm. uh, Boyega, yeah. uh, he has now 340, right? Mm -hmm. 
which after the cleaning of cleaning of the 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 the, the votes cast mm -hmm. and then Oyotola 290. I, at the beginning, soon after the election, you know, mm -hmm. when they declared mm -hmm. um, Adeleke and Oyotola said he he will go to court. Mm -hmm. Some people were saying he was crazy because. INEC deployed the necessary facilities to this. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. It, instead, the technology makes it easier. I'm not trying to in any way say that the judgment, well, it's, it's the court judgment that will have to accept till a superior court of turns yes, it even though he, upholds yeah, yeah. it. You uh, understand? Yeah. Like said, but that you lose an election like, yes. at this time when there's deployment of uh, the resort portal of Beavers doesn't mean that you shouldn't go to court. But instead, the Beavers will help make the process better. So why we celebrate and anticipate that the Beavers is a game changer? We should also focus on the process of the collation. So you know how Beavers works is at the end of the election at the polling unit, you're supposed to use the Beavers to capture the form EC8A, which is the polling unit result, and transmit. Now, while you are transmitting, the collation can still not hold without the physical result. And when the physical result comes, if the physical result doesn't tally, with what has been electronically collated, there is, the physical result will be the law. The INEC guideline says that the result that was transmitted electronically yeah. will even override the physical report if they don't tally. They will, they will go with the one that was transmitted. So it doesn't mean that politicians will still not find. So it's good that this is happening. So I let our politicians understand that but as you are sending out your party agents and they go there and they say, just don't worry, just give us the result first, just let it happen. Once it gets to court, if there is collusion, between the party and the INEC collation officers, they may go ahead and declare the results, but it doesn't mean that when you go to court, it, it is very simple, it's technology. It just shows you this is the data here, and this is what you put out here. This is the result that was transmitted, this is the result that you declared. It doesn't match. So they will end up going back to use the result that was electronically collated to now do the results and give the final figures in a court. So this okay. judgment is good for democracy and good for the deployment that INEC is already doing. Okay, Baba, can we say these things happened because all the stockholders are partners in crime? I'm referring to party agents, right? Mm. Security operatives, INEC officials, and then even observers, people like you. I don't know. Because how will people agree to circumvent a process <laughs> during election? Thank you very much. And that is why I said earlier that this is a test instance. It's a test scenario mm. for, the, I repeat, the Independent National Electoral Commission to demonstrate capacity and integrity to work with this fantastic technology that we believe will be again, indeed it is a game changer. Mm -hmm. However, I come from an IT background. Okay. All right? And we know the concept of garbage in, garbage out. Yeah, what you give. Now, when I read this judgment and I saw the data with regards to the 10 local governments, the question is, how did we even allow those guys Aha. to go in there? And that goes to what you said. Okay. Because what we, we are expecting is the bi biometric capture mm -hmm. at that point is the first layer of security, of security yes. and validation. Mm. And Njoku just mentioned another flag that the electronic version supersedes or yeah, overrides the, yes. mm -hmm. the, the hard copy mm -hmm. where there is no, I think it a mismatch. is meant to, to, to face out Exactly. The now it is only at the court. Of course, fantastic, we have a court to adjudicate. Mm. But what we expect is, for me, like you said, it's a good thing. I see it on the other side as a learning point so that we have less of these issues during the elections in a way and manner that even if it goes to litigation, it is more on the technicalities of the election, but not in the integrity of the process. Because the more you have these kind of issues, for example, if it happened in turn, of course, also in fairness to the process mm. and the people. Mm. It's a new technology. It's a new thing. And they are going to Adaptation is the process we have to inculcate yeah. as we progress. So I reckon by that time, in the next couple of weeks, the process will be better. It's a wake-up call for everybody, especially INEC and, like you mentioned, the uh -huh. stakeholders. And I think it has also unraveled whatever is going behind the scenes by the political actors and, the, and their fellow co-travelers mm. in trying to disrupt the political process. I believe that Bivers has come to stay. Bivers will demonstrate to, to us that people's vote can speak and count. But then we, the human beings operating that system, must, must have that 
must, must conform and must have the integrity. Otherwise, okay. Okay. it's just a machine. Emmanuel. Yeah, you know, you know, not to preempt the appeal court or the Supreme Court, but mm. I believe because of the simplicity that interrogating the, the result handling and result transmission has brought to bear, yes. I believe that even if this thing goes to appeal court or Supreme Court, it probably the same outcome that we'll see in those places. Then there is one thing we'll forget. Okay. Not in any way to put down any person. You know, in the past, yeah, elections were rigged. And uh, sometimes you see staff of the election management body you know, participating in all of these things. Now we have upped the game. We have changed the game. If we change, let me digress a bit. If we change the Nigerian police force name from Nigerian po police force to Nigerian police service, mm. you know, it, does it change no. the, we, we have done the, the for humans? The, for the <laughs> the, 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 thank you. The Nigerian correctional service services yes. across that. Does it really change? We will change the uniforms. The, 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 the people. Yeah. So it's still so these are these are these are these are these are these are things beyond the INEC leadership and INEC chairman, mm. you know, to control the, the humans of Nigeria will at some point, some will always find a way to, to subvert the will of the people. But yeah. the good thing is that the beavers, it's simple for you to just look at it and know where the problem is. On a good day, like I said, those results are not supposed to get to the point of collation and declare and return. Because the job of the collation is that once you see that your beavers has 300 persons, but results return is 400 persons, mm. you must query that result. And you must find a way to sort out that result. I'm talking about coalition and partners in crime. Yeah. Now, let me tell you this. Because I'm an election observer. You go to election in a particular polling unit, and there are 10, there are 10 um, party agents, different party agents in that particular polling unit. But you only find out at the point when they start doing sorting and counting of results that out of that 10, about seven other political parties there are working for one of the top political parties. Oh my God, That's very collusion. funny, very funny. <laughs> so, you right. see, so, so yeah. let, let me Maybe we'll move to another thing. Okay, okay. The, okay. the INEC okay. chairman met with um, resident Thanks. electoral commissioners oh. from across the 36 states of the Federation in Abuja. Yeah. And he said they will start a mock I mean, a kind of test running, right? Yes. Of the uh, beavers, yeah, to make people acclimatize with the process. Do you think it will help in actually solving some of the issues that, you know, happen in, in Osho? It's a good step in the right direction. Okay. Like I said earlier, and reiterated by Mr. Njoku. Okay. This is a test instance situation. Okay. And I'm sure lessons will be derived from this instance, and I'm sure the INEC chairman will, these are going to be critical talking okay, points. Okay, now let, let's hear what the INEC chairman will say. Yeah. The INEC chairman highlighted the level of the commission's preparedness for the elections. He stated that all arrangements are made to make sure the country witness free, fair, and credible elections. I am glad to report that movement of materials for the election to various locations nationwide is being concluded. The training of officials will commence shortly. Ongoing consultations with stakeholders will be intensified. Air lifting and delivery of sensitive materials to states of the Federation has gone far. Accreditation of national and international observers and the media is being finalized. Critical service providers in the area of transportation have reassured us of their commitment to efficient logistics for the movement of materials and personnel to various locations, while the security agencies have reaffirmed their readiness for the election. Jakubu highlights some of the challenges the Commission is facing in the distribution of permanent voters' card, but reassured Nigerians that additional measures will be taken to make sure everyone collects he use our privacies. The Commission is encouraged by the determination of registered voters nationwide to collect their PVCs and the actual level of collection so far. For instance, in Lagos State, which <coughs> has the highest number of registered voters in the country, the Commission delivered 940,200 PVCs from the recent voter registration exercise from June 2021 to July 2022 for both new registrants and request for transfer and replacement of cards. As of yesterday, Thursday, 26 January 2023, 839,720 PVCs have been collected 
representing 89.3% of the total figure of the new cuts. This meeting with Rex will consider reports from other states of the Federation and the Commission will not hesitate to consider additional measures to ensure that all citizens have ample opportunity to collect their PVCs ahead of the general election. We wish to assure Nigerians that the Commission will always be responsive to the needs of the electorate. The Commission has been engaging critical stakeholders to find some ways of conducting credible elections. Well, Samson, Trust TV News, Abuja. That was the meeting. Maybe I should come to you, um, Emmanuel. Mock accreditation and all that, test running of... You know, the... you know beyond the mock accreditation, mm. I think what INEC needs to do more uh -huh. is even to test the result transmission portal. Because, yeah, the, the, at the end of the, the, the exercise, every result will be transmitted. And citizens are supposed to be able to follow up and you know, download results. And what happened in Oshun and Ekiti State, for some of us that observed the results, just a state election, we found it difficult to, so you know when you go into the result portal, mm. you, you, so the result is in PDF form, you need to download it. And so it, it's, it's so slow for you to be able to download it because a lot of people were on that portal. There was traffic on that portal. So if we're now doing a national election across the country, and every person running for office have a situation room, their citizens are also trying to see the results and the results. I don't know how big their bandwidth is. I don't know if they've corrected that issue. So what they should even do more is to ensure, while it is good that they are testing the beavers, it's also important that they ensure that their result portal has, I'm not, I'm not a tech guy, but I think it has the much needed and, bandwidth. And Baba Yusuf is, is a tech for, guy. For people are are they running against time? time? Yes, they are. I, but this I, is the longest election season that we Nigeria ever witnessed. Yes, like like Kim Jong Un said, they should test all instances. Okay, right? everything. And, and like I said, this is the test instance for them. The Ocean election has thrown off critical issues for them to test end to end the technology. Mm. Obviously, it is a perennial issue of this bandwidth issue. Mm -hmm. You know whether it is national identity. Whatever it is, we know we have this issue, and it is going to be a critical success factor and an integrity factor mm. for the elections. If having insisted on getting all the support of all and sundry for Bibles to be used, we have a technology glitch or bandwidth issue, downtime, during the transmission of results, that will be catastrophic. Mm -hmm. People will question the integrity of the results, mm -hmm. and it will take us, it will break down the entire electoral process. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy the, the mock is taking place. Uh, Professor Mahmoud, I know he knows what he's doing with his team, but we just urge them to take it more seriously and stretch the test to the highest level so that they won't be caught by any surprises. Okay. Is there any actually significant change in what we are seeing now from 2019? Yeah, a lot. In one minute, yeah. No, of course, a lot. A lot has changed in uh, the, the first of all, the Electoral Act. Okay. The deployment, the, the beavers, the transmission. A lot has actually changed. What but about the skepticism we are now witnessing? Because even the president around, said around the new technology that is going to be deployed. It's normal. It, this is normal. Nigerians, I mean, we always have that trust. There is a but trust. it's coming from an unexpected quarter. Yes, there, there is this trust, and it's sad it's coming from them. But if, yeah. you, look at, if you look at FCT election, mm. 2022 February, which I observed, you look at Oshun election, AKT election first, you look at Oshun election, Anambra. you will see a clear improvement okay. in what, how the beavers has performed. So based on that, even though we are going to have a bigger election across Nigeria, 176, almost 177,000 polling units, we, I, I'm, I, I am confident that INEC, have the capacity to do the needs for. But while we are preparing for the election, I don't know how much time we have. We but don't have any time. Maybe uh, just uh, but, but, yeah. but I think, <laughs> and I want to appeal to, yes. to INEC mm. and the federal government to please, as a matter of urgency, extend the time for collection of PVCs because people pass through a lot yeah. to register, right? Which is wrong. People don't have to suffer to register. Mm. And people are also suffering to get their PVCs. INEC needs to increase the number of ad hoc staff they have in every distribution center. Having three persons at that point at what level was very ineffective. I think INEC needs to expand the number of ad hoc staff they have so at this thing can, you know, people can collect their PVCs and be able to I know this, this, this area is the third leg of our conversation. We only sure. touch the surface. Are you on the same page with him that oh, this period should be accepted? I will, I, will, I will add to that. Okay. The, con the political consciousness of Nigeria has never yeah. been this high mm -hmm. in recent history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The interest of people to cast their vote 
this time around is so high that I re echo the call for extension of date for collection of PBC for people to exercise their rights. I'm compelled to stop you here because of <laughs> time. Baba Yusuf, strategist and policy analyst, I make a joke. Thank you very Democracy much. Democracy and governance. Thank you for Thank your, you your informed much. perspective. And we hope these areas we discuss, those that matter, will take note of them and act. Because that's enough. On today's program, do well to collect your permanent voters' card and make a commitment to vote in the forthcoming election to guarantee a better future for all of us. Thanks for watching and do join us again. I'm Hamza Idris.